All right, so today we're going to make a pan. It's a pancake inside um, syrup, butter, and a little bit of oil. I just felt like I said the recipe. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we're going to do is delete this sphere. So go to this icon and click on delete. And I'm going to use the lid tool. Mine is selected already. It is the this icon here. And then we're going to click on curve, which is on the left panel there, and just draw out our pan. All right. So to put the hole in, so I'm just going to bring that in and bring this out. You can do any shape of pan you want. I want my this place to be like that. So just going to do that. You can make it. You can make yours curved. If you want yours to be curved, just click on the dots and change back to curve. Okay. So I'm just going to do mine like this. Once mine my um edges be a little bit more smooth so i'm just going to go to this icon yeah the this icon up above there just increase the topology a little bit let's see hmm, maybe a little bit more okay and i'm just going to validate all right so that's the point this next thing would be to use the tube tool and just make sure it's facing you and Using the curve, which is on the left again, just draw to your handle. I think I want mine straight. You can do any shape you want, right? So, don't be afraid to experiment. Let me just make mine bigger. I think this is fine. Then I'm just going to raise the topology a little bit. So, I'm doing the topology by clicking on this tube icon up above here. Scrolling down topology and just putting it on 18. And I am going to clone this. So you see clone on the left panel there. I'm just going to increase the clone, reduce the height, bring it up a little bit. Okay. And then for the one inside, the angle inside, I want this side, the edge, to be smooth. So I'm just going to use the smooth tool. Which is on the left there. That's too much. I'm just going to reduce the intensity and then in smoothing that part. For the pancake, we're going to use cylinders, right? So go to this icon again and click on add and bring in a cylinder. It's going to reduce the cylinder there to whatever height you want your pancake to be. And I'm just going to read this topology there because I'm going to subdivide. And then we need to bring this up, 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 like that. Think I want thick. Yeah, think I want thick. <laughs> I think I want thick pancakes. So I'm just going to add it, and then go to this icon, subdivide like two times. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is our syrup. So let's bring in a UV sphere. Okay, we're just going to flatten this a little bit and uh, bring this up. I'm using the gizmo tool to do all of this. Okay, and just going to reduce that there. Still the gizmo tool. And I think I'm going to validate. Okay, actually, let me reduce the apology to 35. And then validate and use the move tool which is on the you know, right panel there to just sort of make it look like syrup okay so as you're done with the shape the next thing we're going to do is the butter now for the butter we're going to use a box just going to bring in a box there, reduce the size to the butter size, just reduce the height there, reduce everything, bring it down to the middle. Okay, I'm going to use the smooth tool to just smooth in the, okay, let's just validate first of all even, but let's reduce the topology to 16 and then validate. And I'm just going to smooth it out to the smooth tool.
and then when you see the move so it's just sort of make it look like it's melted so it's like I said it doesn't have to be perfect just All right, so that's the butter. Okay. Now the last thing, which is the oil, I'm just going to duplicate the syrup, and then go to the gizmo tool and clone it. Move that down. Increase the size. Just going to reduce the height of it there. And there. Okay. So now the next thing we're going to do is paint everything. Okay, so we need to go to the paint tool which is on the right there, left panel ball, click on it, uh, let's select the pan actually, click on the ball and then it gets like a lot of presets, let's use the iron paint or now this is too shiny for me, but if you like it, you can you know, keep it, I'm just going to increase the roughness there, and I'm going to make the color darker, so that the pancake can really shine through and it's paints all you can do the same thing for the ando i'm just going to hide the syrup okay so click on the eye icon do the same thing for the butter and then you can use the cell mask to paint the pancake okay so if you look at the left panel it's like different options right click on the ellipse and just draw out an ellipse that's well better than mine anyways <laughs> uh, all right so it's going to use the wire there and i'm going to use the max to Once you're done, um, you know, drain out the circle, just go to the max tool and then click on invert and also click on the layers icon and add a new layer so that when we paint, it's going to be on a new layer and there's like any mistake, you can easily just, you know, remove that. Okay, so we're going to go to the paint tool and then we're going to paint the top. So this is going to be like the dark part on the top of the pancake, right? And I'm just going to paint. Oh, I think I'm okay with this color. Let me see if it's better. Again, I'm going to go to the mask to it again and invert. And I'm going to paint this inside a new layer. And then paint this lighter brown. There. And I'm going to clear. I was going to add light so I can actually see what I'm doing. So, so we're going to use the stamp tool and just we just want to make this a little bit rough so it doesn't look too perfect. So we're just going to add a new layer first of all. And then go to the um, stamp settings, click on alpha, okay, and then click on this square and just scroll down, check your alphas if you have. We don't have just search for maybe I'll link I'll probably link this anyways in the description box. So I'm just going to use something that has like dots in it. So this is dust and cloud. And I'm going to reduce the intensity to about one. Probably still too much even. And let's see, can I reduce it further? Okay, so yeah, you want like the lowest setting, right? Just look for an alpha that works. Let's try to put some on the sides too. 
Let me just increase that a little bit to one. Let's try the sides that too. Okay. So once you're done adding the flowers, the beautiful flowers, I'm going to just make the oil transparent to coat the materials I can click on refraction. Okay, so I'm just going to change that to transparent material. And then click on the bow here. Okay, and just change it to color of oil. It's going to reduce the roughness there. And then paint all. Let's play around the settings here. Alright, so once you're done, you know, moving, adjusting, we're just going to bring in our syrup and butter back in. We're going to move this to the middle of the pancake. And we're going to change this to refraction too. So click on the materials icon and a refraction. And we're going to make this, you know, any color you want chocolate syrup, maple syrup, sugar syrup. Okay, and then for the butter, it's going to bring that to the middle too. Okay, and then we're going to change color to yellow or color butter. So just find the color of butter. So we are done basically, and then you can just switch on the post processing. Right, and as usual, make whatever changes you want to make. So, yeah, and you can add in more lights, right? Okay, so this is the end of the video, and thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Sorry, my voice is low, I am exhausted from work. <laughs> so, yeah, I made a few changes. Some colors are darker, some are lighter, just tweaked some settings here and there. So, you can just do the same and see what works for you, right. Because when I changed the lights, I noticed some colors were to be darker or lighter than you know what I actually wanted. So, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have a wonderful weekend.